you, loser over there. Yes, I'm talking to you. Stop looking around like a confused idiot. Do you see any other losers around here? No. Just you. Get over here. Don't try to sneak away. You'd never escape anyway. You're too slow and clumsy. You'd trip on your own feet and collapse into a whimpering ball on the ground. Don't make it any more difficult for yourself. Just get over here. Oh, so you're gonna pretend you don't remember me? I'm sure you'd like to imagine I didn't exist. But being delusional won't help you. Did you think once you graduated and went away to university that I wouldn't follow you? <laughs> so pathetic. I told you before. I'm going to torment and bully you for the rest of your life. Remember? Yes, I enrolled in the same university as you. It wasn't too hard to get accepted. I mean, they accepted you. The biggest mumbling moron I've ever seen. So basically, anybody can get accepted here. Be quiet. I didn't say you could talk. <laughs> Nothing makes me laugh harder than seeing that dumb look on your face when I bully you. You'd almost be kind of cute, if you had any spine at all. What? I don't care if you're on your way to your first university class, you massive nerd. You'll just have to be late and have your friends take notes for you. <laughs> Oh, wait. That's right. You don't have any friends. Too bad. So sad. That professor is going to be so pissed off when they see you shuffling in late in the middle of their lecture. All disheveled in your oversized biggie hoodie and dripped jeans. <laughs> hmm. You know, actually, I'm going to spare you today and let you go to class. Not for your sake, for mine. I don't want you getting kicked out of school for missing classes. I need you to stay enrolled here to be my plaything and entertainment. I have all kinds of fun things planned for you this semester. So run along to your little class, nerd. But before you go, I'm not letting you off the hook completely. I've got something important for you to hear. I want you to listen to me very carefully. I know you probably think I'm mean, but my cruelty has a purpose. I'm toughening you up and trying to unleash the man inside you. You can't go around being so weak and invisible your whole life. Look around you, all these hot college girls walking around campus, away from home for the first time, ready to party. They're full of desire and ready to have fun with any willing random guy. Or girl. They're here to explore themselves. But they want an assertive guy. A guy that can lead them and take control. You have no idea how crazed and wild these girls are getting in the dorms. <laughs> Such a shame. You're totally oblivious to everything. Missing out on all these hot college girls and their fresh, ripe cherries. Listen, I know it's best for you. You'll stay a virgin forever unless somebody wakes you up. From your little sad cocoon of nerdiness. So, 
here's what's going to happen. You're going to come to my dorm room tonight. We have more to talk about. And I don't want anybody interrupting us. Yes, I need to meet with you privately. Don't worry. I think you might actually enjoy what I have in mind. Make sure nobody sees you in the hallway and come directly to my room. You got it? Believe me, I'm doing you a massive favor with what I have in mind. Don't screw it up. I think you're getting turned on by this idea, aren't you? As I was talking, I saw the Fear in your eyes, gradually replaced by curiosity and eagerness. Hmm. You might actually be more willing to be my plaything than I anticipated. I have to admit, I'm feeling a little thrill and tingly sensation. Stop being so smug, though, and wipe that mischievous smirk off your face. You're still a pathetic loser. Don't ever forget how miserable you are and how much I despise you. You should feel lucky I even pay attention to you. Now, get out of here, loser. Oh, look at who put his big boy pants on tonight and actually showed up. Such a good, good boy. Don't just stand there in a stunned daze. I know I look sexy wearing my sheer night. But at least try to play it cool. Now, hurry up. Get in my room. I don't want the other girls in the dorm seeing you outside my door. Come inside. Or I'm going to pick you up and throw you inside. Yes, there you go. Come in. Shut the door behind you and lock it. Do it! Oh, I love it when you are so obedient to me. You're so willing to do whatever I say. We're a perfect match, in a perverse way. So, this is my dorm room. My roommate is spending the night at her boyfriend's. Oh yes, just you and me, alone at last with no principal or teachers for you to run crying to. There's so much pain I could inflict on you right now, if I wanted to. I know you secretly love it when I mock and belittle you, but I have something else in mind. I'm actually going to reward you tonight being so submissive to me. Come over here and stand next to me at the window. I'm not asking again. Do it. You need to learn to do exactly what I tell you to do without hesitation. Good, very good. Stand here, next to this telescope on the tripod. Don't move. I'm going to turn out my lights, so we can't be seen from the outside. What? Oh no, we're not going to stargaze with the telescope. Of course a nerd like you would think that. Just be patient. It will all make sense in a moment. There. My room is all dark now. Open the curtains. And look across to the other dormitory building. Yes. Directly in front of us. Now. Hold on. 
Let me send a text message. And... Boom. Sent. And any second now, you'll see the curtains on a dorm room in the building across from us magically open. Ta-da! Right on cue. The curtains are opening. And oh my, check out that hot college blondie in her lace lingerie. Very sexy. I can't believe she's got the curtains wide open. And all the lights on in her dorm room. For everyone to see her. Do you think she's hot? Yes, she's very beautiful. Look at the framed photo on my roommate's desk. Look familiar? God, you lack any imagination. You haven't made the connection yet? <sighs> Remember when I said my roommate was over at her boyfriend's? Yeah, well that's her. In the dorm room, with the curtains open. And that guy she's cuddling with right now? That's her boyfriend. Is your head spinning yet? <laughs> oh, I've never seen you look so lost and confused. When I told you earlier today about the wild, crazed college girls on campus, and I said you could never imagine how freaky they are, well, you don't need to imagine it anymore. I'm going to show you. My roommate is an absolute freak. And an exhibitionist. What? You don't know what an exhibitionist is? She gets off on people watching her. When I told her about how you were such a pathetic and clueless virgin, she agreed to put on a little... Demonstration for you. Oh, wow. Look at that. Damn. She's so sexy. What an incredible body. Back to what I was saying. I'm going to give you a gift. And let you witness some of the wild, hot things that are happening in dorm rooms every night all across campus. Maybe when your mind is open to what's possible, you'll finally be motivated to go experience it yourself and break out of your shell. Oh, my roommate's not wasting any time. She's already climbing on top of him and unclasping her bra. Holy shit, this must really be turning her on, knowing that we're here watching them. I bet he's calling her mommy. You're really enjoying this, pervert. That's okay. I love that you are enjoying this just as much as me. That's a good boy. All right, look through the telescope and get a good close-up view of them. Okay now, I'm gonna drop your shorts to your ankles. Don't stop watching them. You just focus all your attention on them.